Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking a bit more about Watch Dogs, I've found out a little bit more about it. Uh, so I've got some interesting uh, little bits to say, but first I just want to uh, give a little bit of an apology for yesterday's video. I know it wasn't the best quality, um, but hopefully today is going to be a lot better. Now my my screen capture software I had was a little bit rubbish, and I was trying to capture you know, on my PC, and my PC is not powerful, so it just lagged, and it was horrible. So. I will not be doing that again until I can get a better PC or some better software. Uh, so back to smooth gameplay. Uh, right, but Watch Dogs. Okay, so so far we know it's open world, and it is definitely open world, uh, just slightly different format. Um, let's get a jet, and it's gonna you're gonna be able to control the city. What I found out is that system uh, that you use to control the city is called CTOS or Central Operating System so that's quite cool so we know exactly what it's going to be called the, the system you use to hack in or, or what you hack into uh, so that's awesome the next thing is something called Focus now in the trailer for Watch Dogs we saw at E3 and at the launch of the PS4 uh, it showed you getting chased by the police right at the end and one of the things that he was able to do was look really close in on uh, the cop's tire as it came towards him and it slowed down time that's focus so I th from what I've been able to find out that happens automatically so when you press a button to like zoom in on certain aspects it slows down time and allows you to focus Kind of like when you're pumped up with adrenaline, everything seems to slow down so you can you can react faster. So that's again pretty pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, you, you must like press a certain button. It zooms in, slows down time, and gives you several different options of what's available to hack. For example, so say there, there's the tire, you blow out the tire. There may have been those bollards, and that allows you to hack into them. Uh, so there's apparently all sorts of things you can do with the focus, so that's quite cool. Uh, and also, the, I mentioned the reputation system where you uh, can influence what's around you simply from um, just doing good deeds or bad deeds. So if you do a good deed, people will then get, start to like you. They start may helping might help you, say to get away from the police, or if you get into a fight, they may help you in the fight. That's apparently what the system is going to be. But it's not going to be like a yin and yang system like, say, Mass Effect, for example. So where you do good deeds, uh, it'll affect the actual storyline. It's going to be simply how the AIs respond to you in the actual game. So that's that's a pretty good thing. I, I don't. It's not going to feel like a really gamey feel to it. It's not going to have like you have this much reputation, so you're going to have this certain ending. It's not going to be like that, which I think is quite cool. I think it's a really good idea. Uh, what's next? Uh, so it's going to be set in Chicago. Why? <laughs> That's I think a lot of people have been wondering why Chicago. It's not the most famous city. It's not the biggest. Uh, it doesn't have the biggest reputation or anything like that. But I've been looking a little bit into that, and what a few people have been saying is that it's basically it's a good representation of a modern city in the way that it has poverty and uh, crime and chaos right next to order, money uh, and just everything else. So it's, it's kind of a good mix. It's a modern city, it's quite large, everyone do, does know it so it's fairly popular. Um, so I think that's why they've decided to use it. And also I don't think there's a big game that has been set in Chicago yet. So that's that's quite cool. Uh, I've no idea what I'm doing in this game, I'm just wandering around, doing random stuff. Uh, okay, so that's that's why Chicago. Uh, so I don't really have any much more than that. So I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> it's a bit of a short video today, I'm sorry. Um, I will also say Happy Mother's Day. Uh, let me know what you get up to. Uh, whether you spent the day with your parents uh, or just your mum uh, what what you got her for Mother's Day did you get some flowers, did you get some chocolates 
Uh, or did you buy like one of those Pandora bracelet things, which my mum's got? Uh, let me know. Let me know what you got up to for Mother's Day. I'm quite interested to know because I have run out of ideas. I have no idea what to do next year. <laughs> so I need ideas, people. Okay, uh, and also yesterday's video. I'm not sure many of you have watched it all the way through because of the bad quality. So I'll repeat what I said at the end. When I get to 100 subscribers, I am going to be doing another giveaway. Now I've mentioned before I've got one more copy of Far Cry 3 to give away, which will be part of the giveaway. But I'm going to do it in try and do it in a tiered system. So I'm going to do uh, first and second. So the f uh, person who comes second will receive the copy of Far Cry 3 for PC, and the person who comes first will receive either a PS3 or an Xbox 360 game. Haven't decided which one or um, what game. I might do it where the winner can decide what game. I like. I'll choose a certain type, like certain amount of games, and then they can pick which one. Uh, and what console it's for, might do it that way. Um, but it's, I, I've got more. I've got time to think about it. I've got a few subscribers left to go. Um, but I think the way I'm going to do it, or an idea I had, was subscribers. It, how many subscribers can you guys get me? So, starting from when I get 100 subscribers, the way I think it will work is every time you guys get a subscriber to, or get a friend of yours to subscribe to me you get them to send me a quick message or put a comment down just telling me who uh, who basically recommended me so if you example recommended your best friend uh, you would get your best friend to send me a message saying that you recommended me uh, and then I will have a tally system oh no uh, I'll have a tally system in place uh, to simply keep track of how many people got how many subscribers. In the event of a tie, I'll have a tiebreaker. Uh, I haven't thought of what yet, but maybe just like a comment or who can get me the next subscriber, something like that. But it's cool because I'll, I'll try and get you as modern a game as possible. So, and I'm not just going to pick any game. I will let you guys pick what game because then it's fair because then you might already have the game or there might be a game you really want and it might won't be that one. So I'll let you guys pick. But Far Cry 3 will definitely be this runner-up prize, because I need to get rid of it. Okay, I'm going to call it a day, guys. I will see you soon, and uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. You have to be a subscriber to win, so you'll also hear about all when I do get to do the giveaways, if you're a subscriber. It's not only beneficial to me, people. Okay, I'll see you soon, guys. Have a good one.